In this example, we're going to take a look at relationships between people who attended a uh, trade show or conference and people who ended up participating in an IPO. I actually did this presentation for a stock exchange uh, company. And so we have this list here of people who attended a conference and let's see how many we have oh several hundred people uh, we got their name their title the company and the country we also have a list of people who participated in an IPO and so again name industry company various other things like net worth so what we did we imported both lists into Sentinel and used our data set builder and although I have the uh, option to filter in or out by entity, by metadata, which is different types of data, and or by um, types of relationships, and this just happens to be what's in my database, I basically said to Sentinel, just show me everything in those spreadsheets because I don't really know what I'm looking for. So when we hit next and visualize the entire spreadsheet, this is what we get. So let's zoom out and we have quite a large network. So this is our attendees at the conference. This is our IPO offering and notice this intersection here. If we drill down into that area again using our navigator I can draw a box here and I discover these people that participated not only in the trade show or conference but also in the IPO. Now, as a stock exchange company, I may want to investigate those people that participated in both events. Basically, I'm seeing the intersection between my attendees of a trade show and my participants in an IPO. And I can upload more and more spreadsheets or databases to find relationships and patterns between the lists that would be very difficult to discover by just looking at the data. And so this is one nice use of Sentinel in that you can quickly see relationships and patterns between multiple events.